Hello, travel hacking fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sands 3 Minutes Max. Today, I want to talk about uh, what I like to refer to as the tinfoil hat wearing clan. Uh, I get calls like this every single week, as I'm sure some of you do. Uh, caller calls up and says, yeah, my cell phone's been hacked. Uh, really? Okay. Now we go down the rabbit hole yet again. Let's talk about cell phone hacking, and uh, I'm going to focus on uh, I, uh, an iPhone uh, for now, but the, the same applies for other applications. Now, I'm not talking about uh, a cell phone being ha anything I'm going to talk about today. Doesn't uh, doesn't include things like NSO or dark matter or gamma tech with their multi hundred thousand dollar tools and government access. To, uh, to hack phones. I'm talking about commodity malware, commodity hacking, and the ability of someone to hack your iPhone. First of all, uh, I ask them, do you have a passcode, a, a password? Yes, I do. Okay. Does anybody else know it? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, is your phone been jailbroken? What does that mean? Right. Okay. You haven't been hacked. It's that simple. And I don't care how much they argue. In order for an iPhone to be compromised, to be hacked, so that someone can can access the data on it and get stuff off of it, it must be jailbroken. Now, there's a number of different pieces of software online, like MSpy and FlexiSpy, that are very good at what they do. And they say that they can uh, compromise an iPhone, they can, they can breach it, and yes, they are that good. If somebody calls you, my phone rings and I get to listen to your phone call. If you call somebody, my phone rings and I get to listen to the phone call. I get your pictures, I get your contacts, I get your copy of your text messages, your emails, whatever I want. Yes, they work that good. But if you look at the teeny, teeny, tiny, fine print, the phone must be jailbroken in order for this to work. And the installer must have that phone in their hands, unlocked, to be able to install the software in the first place. So... If you've got a passcode and you make sure your phone's not jailbroken and nobody knows your passcode and you don't let it out of your possession, your phone has not been hacked. How do you know if it's been jailbroken? Do you see an icon called Icy or another one called Cydia? Nope, not jailbroken then. Oh, well, what about, uh, what about other telltale signs? Plug your iPhone into iTunes. If it's been jailbroken, it will tell you immediately. All of that to say, it is much more difficult to hack an iPhone than anything else. Usually, uh, if somebody's got information that you think could only have come from your iPhone, it's because they hacked your iCloud account. And that's why we need two-factor authentication on our iCloud account. So in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.